Hello everyone, my name is Jeff Rojas and you're watching my KISS photo series. My goal is to make photography a tiny bit less complicated and just make it easier. Now, today we're gonna to be focusing on one of the most powerful but misunderstood tools in Adobe Photoshop and that's the liquify filter, so please stay tuned. The liquify tool has a bad rap in the media for making unrealistic body proportions. That doesn't have to be the case. I'm going to discuss the basic tools that the liquify filter has along with each way the tools you are utilized to make the most impact in your imagery but still retain natural body proportions so no one questions your editing choices. Now let's just jump straight into Adobe Photoshop and see those basic tools in action. Welcome to Photoshop. Okay, first things first, we want to make a copy of our background layer. We want to make sure that any changes that we make are on their own independent layer so we can view the corrections we made from before and after. Go up to our filter option, go straight to liquify. Make sure that your advanced mode is selected. In doing so, you get extra options on our left hand side and we'll discuss those extra options momentarily. So let's look at the image that we're working with. Okay, some of the basic features that we have are our forward warp tool, which is going to go ahead and push pixels in front of that specific brush and pull pixels behind it. For instance, if I go ahead and click and drag towards her shoulder, it's pushing her shoulder closer towards her body, but it's also pulling desert uh, closer to her arm as such. I'm just gonna go ahead and be a little more forgiving with that brush, okay? She's obviously too skinny. That's terrible, terrible photo. So I'm gonna show you what the second brush does in order to correct that. Our reconstruct uh, tool is gonna go ahead and reconstruct areas that we liquefied. I actually prefer to use Control Undo as opposed to using the Reconstruct tool. That's just me. Reconstruct does it on specific areas. I just find from my specific taste, Control Undo works for me. I'm going to skip directly to the Pucker tool. Our Pucker tool is going to take any pixels that are around the center of the brush and drag it towards the center. For instance, I'm going to go ahead and select that brush and just click there towards her tummy and all the pixels are dragging towards her tummy. As opposed to the bloat tool, bloat tool is the complete opposite. It pushes pixels away from the center. Our next option that we're gonna jump straight towards is our freeze mask tool. Our freeze mask tool is gonna go ahead and select areas that we want to be unaffected by liquify and freeze them. It'll make it so they can't be manipulated. I'm gonna show you that now. I'm gonna go ahead and select our subject. So that way I don't want her to be manipulated, but we're gonna manipulate the desert sand behind her. So I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that she's completely frozen in space. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and go up to our forward warp tool and we're just gonna drag down on some of the edges around here just to see some of the changes we have. And if you notice, I can make any changes I want and our subject is completely unaffected which is a great uh, tool to have if you're manipulating certain parts of the face or if you're manipulating certain parts of the clothes you want the arms to be unaffected by. Okay, and our next option, so let's go ahead and select her again. Our next option is gonna be our thaw mask tool, which is gonna go ahead and just delete anything that we use the freeze mask tool on. Those are the basic tools that Liquify has. Those are very, very, very simple tools to use. Now. Let's look at the image that we have and how I'm gonna use those tools to enhance this specific image. Now, I'm looking at our subject and our subject is carrying a lot of tension in her shoulders. Her shoulders are raised up. She doesn't look uh, as eased taking this photo as possible. It was also like 90 degrees outside, so that, can, that could have something to do with it. Next, anytime we slouch forward, we have a little bit of a tummy. That's fine, she's super thin in person. She just has a bit of a tummy. It doesn't matter if you're size double zero or if you're size 16, 18, 22. It doesn't matter. We're all gonna have uh, skin on our tummies as we lean forward. I'm gonna go ahead, next thing I'm gonna do is just make sure to uh, bring that in a tiny bit. And in doing so, I'm also gonna bring in uh, a bit of the right just to give her a tiny bit of curvature along her spine. And I'm also gonna go ahead and enhance her dress quite a bit so we get some extra detail in her, in her dress. Okay, so first things first, let's work on her shoulders. Now, I wanna go ahead and go to my freeze mask tool. I wanna to go ahead and select our model's face and some of the background, because I want those to be unaffected by my changes. Okay, select our forward warp tool and larger brushes, again, are gonna make small changes. Smaller brushes are going to make changes that we can see. 
Again, I'm gonna drag down her shoulders slightly. And if you notice, her neck and her face are unaffected by my changes. Again, I'm gonna show you just a quick tip. Using the larger brush, I can make small gradual changes as opposed to using that forward warp tool with a smaller brush and making smaller changes, I'm starting to see some of the wavy changes that I've made and that's not what I want. So let's go ahead and zoom out. Next thing I wanna do is kind of push in her tummy so I'm gonna still use that forward warp tool. And as I'm doing this, I just wanna make small subtle changes that are realistic, meaning they're more cor uh, correct to body form. So right there, I would say is probably the furthest we can go with it looking like we haven't manipulated this image. Now the only difference that I see is that on the right hand side she's a bit wide, so I'm gonna use a larger brush and just drag in a tiny bit, just to make it a tiny bit thinner. And that has nothing to do with my personal preference of editing, that has to do with visual interest in this specific image. Okay, so let's look back and next thing we're going to wind up doing is enhancing this dress some. So I'm going to pull that dress out, give it some length. Okay, and drag this up. Oh, we made one dra dramatic change. So if I drag this down, drag this out, drag this down, and I'm going to go ahead and just press OK. Let's look at some of the changes that we've made. Okay, so let's see what we've done so far. So our image has less stress in her shoulders. She has less stress in her back. Her tummy's been brought in some. She looks a little more at ease in regards to the photo itself. Let's look back and forth again. Okay, I've brought down her dress some. I've pulled out her dress to give it some more length in the photo itself. The sand hasn't been, been manipulated as much. If I look back and forth, the image is retaining natural body proportions. I haven't manipulated anything in any way, in any form, to make it so she doesn't have natural body proportions. There's a great crash course introduction on how to utilize the Liquify filter. Again, we talked about the basic tools that Liquify filter has, along with how each tool and how they can have the best impact in your imagery and how to retain natural body proportions. Again, subtle changes are gonna make the most impact in your photos. Not every single change that you may make needs to be drastic. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you're watching this on Facebook, please share it with your friends if you enjoyed it. Again, thank you for watching and you have a great day.